So we're going to talk about this uh, concept or this strategy of pushing hands. It's very much a Thai style of, um, of fighting. You won't see this a whole lot in a lot of different types of uh, other kickboxing, but you see a lot in Thai boxing, and there's a reason for it. If I turn the cat and I just kind of reach my hand out like I'm going to shake your hand, the question is always like, why would someone reach out to you when you reach to them? Because it's a conditioned response, right? We are, we are conditioned that when someone reaches or grabs for us, that we want to grab back. It's an old primal response. And what we're doing is relying on that response, especially during the heat of combat, to elicit a certain response, to pull barriers away from where they're supposed to. It's also why Dutch fighters will intuitively fight with their hands in here close, because they were used to fighting the Thais, you know, back in the day when they first started going to Thailand and training, and they realized that the same equivalent of, you know, she goes to shake my hand and I don't shake back, the same thing occurs if I keep my hands in close and she starts to reach, and there's nothing to, to, to no barrier to work around. And what would end up happening is, you're using that to draw that guard out. The proper way to push, by the way, is to keep your arms maybe outside of 90 and keep your shoulders high. But if you're conditioned for me to meet her halfway, then when she goes to reach and there's nothing there, there's a draw. And then that's what allows me to punch over and under. Both strategies work. It all depends on who's better at that strategy. The Thais were very effective at fighting the Dutch, and the Dutch have also been very effective at fighting them. It all comes down to who can implement their strategy best in the moment of combat. Thank you.